Hi there guys, uh, welcome to the Kingfisher. We are here bringing you a lovely video on scratching for bronze bream and the tackle we're going to be using for that. Uh, it's going to be a two-part video. So we're going to do first the spinning side of it. So this is something that a lot of guys already have and you can just use this to also fish for bronze bream. Other one we're going to do is one for the multiplier guys and uh, have that in a separate video. So first, Please subscribe, uh, like the video if you want to. Please leave us comments if uh, you have anything that you'd like to see in future videos. If you something that I missed in here or questions that you have, pop them in the comment section. It's what it's there for. Uh, subscribe and then cl please click the bell icon. It allows you to get all the notifications as we do these videos so you don't get left behind when we do something new. Okay, guys, so this is going to be the, like we mentioned, the spinning setup. Now, this, the setup that we're going to talk about here can be used for multiple different facets, but we've been using this for quite a while now, and it's just phenomenal for catching bronze ream because you allow, you allow yourself to move a lot more. So, whereas a lot of other times when we had older rods, heavier rods, you'd be sitting in one area fishing one spot, and if you don't get a bite, you're reluctant to move because of all the heavy tackle you've got to lug around. This stuff almost fits into your pockets, um, you can have a little head cooler if you want or something just small with a couple of prawns in and you can shift you can walk kilometers on the beach and fish the whole way along and when you find the fish you're onto it starting off uh, this rod needs absolutely no introduction i'm not going to waste time talking about it the bg power spin they are phenomenal phenomenal rods the graphite that they're made of the sensitivity and just the overall feeling that you get from fishing with them is just beautiful beautiful rods so that's going to pair beautifully with the reels we're going to talk about. We've got three different options here. Because guys, even though we will always recommend tackle and what to use in certain aspects, it doesn't mean that's the only tackle you can use. So I'm trying to give you guys three options and it's going to be based on price point. All of these reels will do the job. We're just working. As we go up, you get better and better features and a stronger reel as you move up. So the new LT Ninja, once again, it really doesn't need much introduction. Beautiful, smooth, holds plenty of line, and the drag on them is very, very lack on there. So that's the 5,000 size. Then we move up to the Excella, obviously moved up in, in price to there, and that's got a whole lot of extra features like a thicker bail arm, ex extended uh, spool support at the bottom, just a stronger reel overall. Also gonna do the job very, very nicely. That's also the 5,000 size, the new 5,000. And then, the old faithful, I say old, it hasn't been out that long, but the BG 4000. Now, you can use the three if you want to. I just prefer the four because normally when I'm fishing for bream, I sometimes wade onto ledges and stuff like that. The 3000 has got the smaller paddle handle, which is fine, works perfectly. This has got the slightly bigger handle, works with my hands a bit nicer, that you can actually gain line a lot quicker. It's just it's easier to grip, you don't slip off of it. But the 3000, if you want a lighter setup, works just as well. So guys, those are the, the reels that I would use on there. Now, in terms of what to put on the reels, you can go nylon. The problem with that, with that stretch, you lose a bit of sensitivity. Um, you can do it, don't get me wrong, it is still gonna work. So if you're really not comfortable, comfortable with the braid, you can use nylon for, for this application, but braid is the way forward. So with that in mind, 15 pound J braid, this breaks much, much higher than 15 pounds. Now to that, you're gonna have a bit of leader material. So Maxima, my, my all time favorite, 25 pound yeah, or 20 thereabouts. You can use that for your traces as well. And we're not gonna, we're not gonna talk too much about the different things there. Ray's covered these in the, the different videos on traces, but the ring chinus, the one O's, phenomenal. And then two components that go very nicely together, your combi power swivels, and your quarter anti-tangles. These two make the world of difference when you're scratching. It just separates the trace that much better and allows it not to tangle up as much. If you are fishing in very rough water, which is where we normally fish with these things, shorten your hook snoots and maybe go up a little bit in the line class just to keep it a bit stiffer, keep it, keep it apart. So if you're using long hook snoots, light line, flex, very flexible, it does tend to, uh, to tangle. Sometimes you do need that, but uh, those are the components and the setup 
that I would use. So once again, BG 10 foot 6 HFS. That's the, the lighter of the two. You can use the heavy one, but the HFS is my preferred one. And then one of these three reels from our selection works very well. So whether you want to um, start at the Ninja, nothing wrong with that. He's going to do the job. If you can uh, bump it up a little bit to the Excella, even better. And then to the BG who's as strong as a cart horse. So guys, that's the setup that I would use for bronze beam and the setup I do use for bronze beam. And uh, yeah, if you don't have something like this, uh, yeah, look, most good tackle stores are going to stock these pro all of these products that we have here. Uh, if they don't, you can get them to order them from you. So or for you at least. So yeah, guys, uh, get out there, get some Dawa magic going with the bronze beam and yeah, consider putting a couple back, even though they are very, very nice to eat. Yeah, cheers guys.